Well, Henry, first let's just talk about the entire experience of, of the show itself. I obviously <laughs> enjoying it a little bit, but uh, just talk about the entire, entire show and kind of what you took from it. <laughs> I, I, I'm not real. <laughs> I'm the fakest dude you'll ever meet. <laughs> So, not a fan of the Joseph Benavides trash talk, then. <laughs> oh man, I hope <laughs> no, no. It's funny though, but uh, no, it was a great experience, man. I met some of the best guys that you know I consider brothers now, man. Not only w was I with them for six weeks, but they had me out for a, an additional two months. King Zulu, Yoni Shervatov, uh, Alexander Pantoja, Match Now, Adam Antolin. Like five out of the eight guys were with me, man, helping me. Like these guys, that's that's you're talking about brotherly love, man. Flying out from South Africa, flying out from Brazil, flying out from Canada to help me, man. That's you know, that's a bond we'll never break. That's awesome. It's tough because I mean, at the same time, like they want to be where you are, right? So I mean, how do you have that trust and that level, knowing that I mean, you've got to be sharing some secrets with them, and and and, and you know, knowing that at some point they want to be where you are. For sure, man. You know, I tell you what, man. At the end of the day, it is a sport. If we end up fighting each other, um, you know, we can. The, the cool thing about it is, I think we'll still be able to. You know, we may be beat up, black eyes, and all kinds of things, but uh, we'll be able to. You know, have a have a glass of wine or a beer and just maybe laugh laugh on how we caught each other. And that's just the way I see it. Um, I'm here. I'm, I'm here to. I'm, you know, I was on the show to help these guys, and I gave them everything that I had, and that's what it was. For yourself personally, of course, you were getting ready for a fight for Joseph Benavides. You had to spend a lot of time around him. You, you kind of alluded to some of the trash talk you had. What, what was that experience like for you? I mean, is, is this like a, a personal fight? Is it, is it a different experience than you've ever had going into a fight? Uh, it does make it a little, more, a little more personal because of some of the things he says and some of the things he's still saying. But uh, I'm, just, I'm just looking forward to fighting him and then getting him off my back. Like, I really do. Like I'm just I'm just sick of it, man. Like it's like I'm immune to it, though. You know what I'm saying? It's like, and I hate hearing it from my family. I hate hearing it from my friends. I hate hearing it from my coaches. And Will they just, give it to you a little bit? Um, no, no. They're like, what are we gonna do? You know, uh, what am I gonna freaking talk back? I'm gonna be like two project chicks from Love of Hip Hop talking stuff to each other. It's like it's crazy. That's not my style, man. I think it's it's just maturity on my side that I've, I've I feel like I've grown a little bit more. I wish him the best, man. After this fight, he can he can conquer the world if he wants, or he can do whatever he wants to do. But other than the 15, 15 minute personal minutes that we're gonna have, that's that's it. I was gonna ask, so then it's not emotional for you, because you know sometimes when guys get into fights like this, there is a little bit of emotion, and you know you gotta kind of keep that in check, right? Because uh, when, you, when you when you fight with too much emotion, you don't necessarily fight intelligently. I've been competing my whole life, man. This is this isn't my first rodeo. I I have to I have to fight with I have to fight with this with strategy. This will trans trans over to my whole body, and I got to be able to stick to the game plan and 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 fight fight people accordingly, be able to adjust. So no, I, I'm not gonna go in there emotion. I'm not gonna go in there and knock them out in the first round. Um, I'm here to I'm here to fight a smart fight. I think a lot of fans are wondering, you know, kind of what this fight means. It seems like it's a number one contender fight, but you guys do have the results, the recent results against Demetrius. So are you approaching this as a number one contender fight? Are you thinking that if I win this fight, I get another shot? Um, yes and no. I think just because of the fashion that I lost to Demetrius, I'm not sure what the UFC is thinking. Even if I even if I beat uh, Joseph Benavides, it might be different because of the fashion that he, you know, the way he beat me, the fashion that I went out. Um, um, I'm, I'm not sure, man. I'm just looking forward to fighting him, and then uh, and then we'll take it from there. Personal feelings aside, I know that you recognize Joseph is a good athlete and, and a great fighter. How do you see this thing going down? Because there's there's no doubt that outside the champ, you guys are probably the two best in the world. Yeah, no, no, for sure. I I I, res I I I do respect him as a fighter. Maybe as a person, it's a little different, but uh, I do respect him as a fighter. And I've trained extremely hard. I've we strategized a lot. But uh, what was the question? <laughs> How do, you, how do you see it going down? Obviously, you see you getting your hand raised. How do you see it playing out? For sure, absolutely, man. If I do things right, I know I know my hand will be raised at the end of the night. I'm not, I'm not these guys that will make predictions. That I'm gonna knock them out or I'm gonna submit them because that's not my style, man. Because anything can happen in this game. I'm gonna be looking like a moron or a doofus <laughs> or fake <laughs> or fake <laughs> or irrelevant. <laughs> but uh, I know what I'm capable of doing, and I Saturday night I know my hand's gonna be raised.